unless you're lost in the middle of the ocean and you need to be quite visible for the rescue plane and you need this strap to wave above your head, it is a little bit much. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A quick video today about one of my favorite watches in my collection, this Vostok Commandeer Ski. Now, it used to not be one of my favorite watches. In fact, I was planning on selling it just a couple weeks after I bought it. It just, it didn't feel right to me and I didn't want a watch that I didn't love in my collection. But I realized this is a fantastic watch by just looking at it with no strap. So you might be able to pick up what I'm hinting at already. The strap that I had on it was just wrong for it. And it really can affect the way a watch looks. Of course, I'm not reinventing the wheel or a groundbreaking by any means by sharing this information. However, I did want to share with you how just about from 10 to $20 out of your wallet can make your Vostok or really any watch look absolutely amazing. But today specifically, I do think it has to do with the Vostok Commandeerski. So as you can see in the background, there are some options behind me. I wanna show you what it originally came on, what I then thought I'd upgraded it to, and then finally the last look, which really makes this watch look absolutely phenomenal. So the first strap, what, the strap that it came with was this NATO. And as you can see, just side by side, they don't match. I'll pop it on just to show you the complete look, but it was a miss. So here it is on the NATO strap. I mean, a NATO strap does look good on this watch. However, not only is the color matching completely off from the strap to the dial and the rotating bezel, but this is like a bead blasted finish for the keepers. And this is brushed and also high polish on the stainless steel. So just completely non-congruent. They don't make sense together. And I immediately switched it off of this strap. Now I was feeling very, very lucky because I spotted the deal that Vostok slash Marinom was offering, which was getting one of these straps for just about $5 US. Rubber straps, they look nice, color matched perfectly. And as you can see in the background, it was a deal. This is an affordable watch collecting channel. A $5 strap I cannot let go unbought, so I got two. So for the next month or so, I was wearing this strap. I'll show you that real quick. So here you go. Perfect color match. Sorry, I didn't put them both on. Here you go if you want to pretend. This rubber, the hole is so small that you have to jam these pins through and it is really hard to get in and even harder for them to get out. So here is the rubber that I wore for a long time and it does look very nice. The color match is perfect. It's a sporty look. It's also some nice ventilation. So I thought this was going to be the way I was gonna keep this watch. The more I wore it though, the rubber is not comfortable. It is flexible, but it still, when you put it on your wrist, you could feel it on the curve here. So it was always just kind of, it just wasn't the most comfortable. I don't like this word, but I'll use it. It wasn't as supple as I wanted. You can see it's flexing, but still it's a $5 strap and it felt like a $5 strap. As my wife pointed out, she thinks too that rubber straps make the watch look less elegant, less uh, fancy, less expensive. Now I'm not trying to have a fancy or expensive looking watch. I just want a beautiful looking watch, but I do see what she was saying that it kind of downgraded the feel of it, especially if you're not actively diving or doing something sporty, if you're just going around for the rest of your day. It all comes down to personal opinion, but her comment in the back of my mind, plus the rather uncomfortable nature of this strap led me to think maybe this watch wasn't actually for me. And it actually did start to detract from the looks. Until I remembered that Jody from Just One More Watch Whenever he has a Vostok on, he always suggests that you buy the mesh strap as well. Did I just call it a strap? <laughs> the mesh strap. However, when I was buying this watch, the mesh strap, it's almost like a tongue twister, was unavailable. And I actually went back on their site recently and I was having trouble finding any of their straps being sold just on their own. And really the only upgrades to a watch you could add on were these rubber straps. So I went to eBay instead to get a mesh strap. I just can't say that combination apparently. And this is what this video is all about. Of course, it's what makes this watch look the best. Now I got a very cheap strap. I believe my mesh bracelet was $10. I'll put a screenshot up just in case I'm messing up those numbers. But let me show you it because it radically changed the look of this watch. And 
this is even the most cheap mesh strap that you can buy. So this is like the tip of the iceberg, but it has upgraded it in a way for me that I haven't taken it off my wrist since I got that strap last week. So I'll show you real quick. Hold on. See, this is what I'm talking about. It is near impossible to get these out of the strap. It's actually messing up my nails. All right, I gotta get some needle nose pliers. I think this just makes the common deer ski look so much better. It absolutely elevates the look of this watch. My wife was right. The rubber strap does kind of bring it down a tick at least in design and elegance when you're wearing it, at least for me, when I'm sitting around the house looking at it on that rubber strap, it really just kind of made it feel less nice. But having it on this mesh is absolutely amazing. So I'm calling this the $10 you need to spend on your common deer ski. And for me, it really is true. Now you can, of course, make that $20 or $30. And in fact, I am kind of interested in getting an even higher quality mesh strap. This is very nice. The movement is pretty good. The articulation is nice. Also, it has a, a double security option, which I've never seen on one of these straps. So the articulation's okay, but it doesn't like fold completely over or have like visible separate links. It's more of like a screen texture or something like that. But still, for me, it makes this watch just pop. Even if the finishing isn't completely matched and it has now elevated this watch into one of my favorites and a mainstay in my collection that now I know is not going to go anywhere. So on eBay for as little as about $10, you can get a strap like this. And I think it really does apply to all Vostok models, at least the amphibious and the common deer skis, because their metal bracelets, or at least from what I've heard, because I haven't got one in hand, are absolutely nothing to write home about. And that's saying it nicely. I've heard them be called way worse things than that. So I knew I didn't want to get a Vostok on one of their metal bracelets. And I also knew that the NATO strap that came with this one didn't match. So that's why I got those two rubber straps. And I thought that that blue color match would just do it enough for me. Also, I thought if I wanted to get bold or watch a New York Knicks basketball game, I'd get this orange. But holy cow, unless you're lost in the middle of the ocean and you need to be quite visible for the rescue plane and you need this strap to wave above your head, it is a little bit much. However, this mesh, I think, just strikes the right balance. It also allows you to wear this watch in more scenarios or more uh, places. I love it. Just wanted to share it with you again. Now I'm never going to let go of this watch. I'll put the link on eBay where I got this strap. This is again, the cheapest option, but there are so many others. Of course, now I'm going to want to go to strap code or somewhere else, uncle Seiko and try to find another 20 millimeter strap, but that's it. I also just wanted to have another opportunity to show this watch because it is gorgeous. I haven't shown the dome all video, but check that thing out. Love it. Thanks for stopping by. Two new videos every week on this channel, and very soon I'll be building my own watch. I'm very excited about this. Half of the parts have already arrived, so that video should be coming in the next week or two. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.